I thought it was about time we did some more dating advice for you guys. This is revolving around a question I get a lot. And I think it is actually quite important that a lot of couples overlook or don't think about. So I thought I would share my two cents with you guys, as always. <laughs> now, of course, disclaimer, I'm not a relationship expert. I just happen to be in a long-term relationship and I feel like it's pretty successful. So I like to share my knowledge, my experience, my two cents with you guys here for those who are interested. The question I get a lot from actually a lot of people online and surprisingly quite a few of my friends is how on earth does TC and I manage to live together, work together, carry on a good relationship, socialize together, and not want to murder each other? <laughs> now they don't always ask that exact question. It's often slightly different, but mm, about the same. So how do we make it work? One of the big things that I encourage any of my friends in a relationship or those wanting to get in a relationship to build is respect for each other's time and space. It's really hard sometimes in a relationship to feel bonded, yet still get that time to do the things that you're interested in that feed back to you as a person. It's that loss of identity as a solo individual when you become part of a couple. It becomes even more apparent when you're somebody who works together, lives together, and what if all of your friends are the same and you socialize in the same group? How do you find the time to do the activities that nurture yourself and that help you to feel like a whole person? So this video is for you guys if you're kind of struggling on that. What I find that works and TC and I have developed over the years is the trust and mutual respect for each other to be able to communicate politely and openly in a loving way. That is, if I'm needing time to read my book, do a facial, say I want to crochet or I want to paint, I will ask him what's on his agenda for today or I'll say, hey, not sure what you have planned for this evening, but I'm feeling like I want to spend some time painting. I'm going to spend like two hours painting. Why don't you do something that you've been really looking forward to? So TC enjoys learning. He enjoys doing lighting, i.e. the LED lighting around our house. He enjoys playing video games, reading, and a bunch of other activities. So whenever I'm getting ready to, say, to have a nice hot bath that I do a couple times a week, I find it relaxing to take the time for myself to soak in a bath, watch a chick flick, and just be comfortable in my own skin, in my own presence. So during that time, I usually will say to TC, hey, I'm going to take a bath. Why don't you play your video game? Why don't you do something awesome for yourself? And it's usually met with great response. <laughs> we have spent a lot of time encouraging each other throughout our relationship to develop those fun activities, those things that we're interested in, and to nurture self. So perfect example, he knows that I'm really enjoying crocheting lately. So in the morning, I usually get up and I'll crochet for an hour or two. I'll hang out on the patio. Or sometimes I'll even sit on the couch beside him while he's playing video games. I'll put my headphones in, listen to some music I really like, and I'll crochet while he's playing the video game. We live in a pretty regular sized condo, so we can't get quite the space difference you would in a house. But we still enjoy each other's companies. So it's nice sometimes to just be doing our own thing. It's still present. I think a lot of couples forget to do this. And it runs into a lot of miscommunication and arguments just because you're feeling strained as a person and you want to do those activities that give back to you, but that don't necessarily involve your partner. Or maybe you just want some mellow time to just sit and listen to thrasher music alone and soak in, soak in the sunshine. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think as long as you remember to be polite and honest with your partner and respectful of their feelings, that you should be able to say, hey, I'm really enjoying the time we've spent together lately, but I'm feeling like I just kind of want to like an hour or two just to kind of read my book and mellow out doing this activity kind of on my own. That okay? And then I usually will suggest to, hey, why don't you go do this fill in the blank thing you've been really wanting to do lately? I think any relationship in which you are in each other's spaces 
more than normal or quite a lot or all the time, like TC and I, it's important to develop a comfort level with self that you can do activities around your home that give back to you. Because in a relationship, if you don't self-love, how do you expect to love somebody else as well? Self-love is so crucial for your mental well-being, your relationship well-being, for your peace of mind, and spending a little time each week nurturing you and self-loving you is going to put you in such a better headspace. It's going to make you smile, feel happy, not feel down and gloomy, and that is going to carry over into your relationship, not only with your spouse or your boyfriend, girlfriend, but with the people in your life, the people you interact with for work, and etc. So I really encourage you guys, especially right now, especially during all this craziness that is 2020, to find new hobbies. I learned to crochet this pandemic. I'm enjoying it. I also like to paint. I like to have a hot bath. I like to watch chick flicks. I like to color. I like to read. So I try to take, you know, one to two hours every day to every other day that I can do that's just for me that helps me calm and relax. I encourage my partner during that time to also do the same things. Heck, if TC wants to read and so do I, we've spent many an afternoon curled up in bed, somewhat snuggling, each reading our own book, and just enjoying the chill mellow. So I encourage you to do the same. After all, encouraging yourself and encouraging your partner to do something that's gonna nourish them and get back to them is only gonna build a stronger bond that's really healthy for you guys. That said, if you approach a situation like, yo, I'm gonna go play video games alone, you're probably gonna be met with an argument. You're probably gonna insult your partner and it's gonna to lead to a fight. So remember, no matter what, as I've always said in my relationship advice, be polite, be respectful, and approach a situation like you're giving that be some honey, because if you give vinegar, they're gonna sting you. You don't wanna get stung, that's not fun. <laughs> so I hope that helps, and I hope that you guys are surviving, and I hope that your relationship will flourish and grow. Thanks for listening, guys. You guys kick ass. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and check out the videos listed on the screen here. Magical things happen when you do. And if there's anything else you guys want to know for relationship advice, please comment below and I would be more than happy to give you my two cents or my personal experience.